Grant, um, no job tomorrow night. Anything on board there, mate, or just uh, resting with the cold nav cup sort of thing? Yeah, it's sort of going to be a rotation system throughout the NAB Cup and um, yeah, there's certain blokes that will, won't will play different weeks and it just seems that um, yeah, we've had a pretty heavy load during the pre-season and uh, you'll probably see the likes of Dustin Fletcher and these guys probably rest out either next week or the week before. So it's just a maintenance thing before round one. Is that the same for Zaha Rakis and Gumbelwood as well? Yeah, both the same. Uh, obviously they've put in pretty big pre-seasons and we we do loads throughout the pre-season and um, yeah, it's just a maintenance thing, it's nothing uh, too serious so no, it's it's good to get out there tomorrow night but unfortunately we won't have those guys out there for this for tomorrow night. Brian, it was pretty noticeable that you were playing a, a different way last week, yeah, how sort of different is it this year compared to last year and sort of how pleased were the coaches with how you uh, executed the first week of trial at least? Yeah, it was a big build up to last week and uh, the improvement that came out of the players was pretty impressive. The coach, the coaches was impressed. Obviously, we still got a long way to go uh, with the structures that we want to play. But um, the defensive mindset of the players has been a big emphasis over the pre-season. And we'll keep training that way and playing that way. And the more trust that we have in that uh, structures and system that the coaches have put forward to us, which has a lot of experience behind it, there's no doubt that the improvement will come and hopefully uh, quicker. How hard, how hard is it? How long does it take to, to soak all those things in and completely Yeah, it's obviously difficult to come in with the fresh ideas, but the players have been magnificent in the way they've opened their mind up and really accepted what the coaches want us to uh, achieve this year. And um, I suppose every player on the list has been looking for that improvement. And if you want to play in round one this year, you're going to have to have different uh, ways to play the game. and. The coaches want you to be more defensive, so that's the way we'll play. Brandon, this has been made of the uh, celebration after the, the game tying kick the other day. I mean, Stephen North seemed to be having his say. Where did that sort of raw emotion come from? Was that to relief to get a win? Was it more for Mark Williams because he's had such a tough time since he's been at the club? Yeah, I, I think Mark actually thought he kicked the nine pointer to win the game. So, um, yeah, it, 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 sort of the momentum of the game was going our way and kick three or four in five minutes to get to that stage. So uh, it, it's been, as I've said before, it's been a pretty big pre-season and uh, we've worked really hard and the uh, what we wanted to get out of it was there. Uh, we had a little spell in the first, in the second game where we didn't play to our structures and the pressure wasn't there. So we got back to that and I suppose, yeah, the raw momentum of the, of the moment and uh, yeah, it was a bit over the top, but as you say, we're through the next round and we're looking forward to playing tomorrow night. What's the uh, program now with Stuart Cramery in terms of expectations that have been played very well last week, perhaps above expectations? Yeah, Stuart's been, uh, he's come through the Bendigo, so we've known him for a little while around the club. We knew we had, he had the talent and the work rate, so um, he's been given the opportunity to play again tomorrow night and uh, there's no really pressure or expectation on him. We just want him to play his role and keep on improving like every other player on our list. This is a question probably to, to both of you as well. You've both got young and up-and-coming lists. Is there a danger, that, well, we all know it's an outcut, but is there a danger that getting to the last four of the competition might generate a bit too much excitement amongst some of the fans going into the rest of the year? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't really think so. I think it's important for young teams to keep on winning games of football going into round one, and we're just looking to improve. I suppose you're going to hear it a lot throughout the year, but... Uh, if every player plays their role and keep on improving, that's what the supporters want to see and uh, that's what excites us about our young list at the moment. You mentioned playing your roles, Brent. Is it, under this new game plan, is it a bit simpler? Like the players know their roles pretty much straight out and it's a bit more simple than the last uh, sort of game plan you had? Yeah, they're very specific. Obviously things can change throughout the game depending on injury and uh, different situations in the game. But yeah, you are supplied with a certain role that you're going to play throughout the week and you train to that, you practice to that, and you're expected to play to it. So um, yeah, that, that's what we're focusing on at the moment. And uh, it worked last week, so we'll keep. I no doubt that we'll persist with it and keep on going with it. And um, yeah, it, there's not one person can win a game of football. So if you can get 22 guys playing their role each week, we'll we'll be in the game, no doubt. Are you a little happier in yourself as a footballer now, given the end of last year and everything that went on? And all speculation about the, the former coach that's sort of a happy place to be around? 
oh, look, it's, it's certainly different. I don't know whether anyone's happier or, or anything like that. We're just happy to be playing AFL football. That's, that's what we're here for, and that's uh, the exciting part about it. There's a new opportunity for every player to um, excite the coaches, and that's what we're here for. So, uh, yeah, as I said, it's probably getting a bit repetitive, but the improving part of out of our list is the exciting part. Uh, there's a lot of talent in the group, and we just want to keep on going forward.